Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about AI and physics and today the question I want to discuss is do we have to go interplanetary? I mean everybody is talking about this and AI and the development and let's say I really admire Elon Musk what he says about free speech and his really exciting ideas and is pushing technology on so many fronts and this is a good thing. So but I just wonder I mean it's true that he also cares for the environment, but I just wonder why he's he promoting this idea of going to Mars. I mean, what is Mars after all? I mean, we shouldn't wreck our planet and then go to this little dusty cold planet. I mean, what's the purpose? And yeah, and other people like Eric Weinstein, he's also a very smart man, very intelligent views of, of the world. And he is very critical also of contemporary physics but also pushing the idea of becoming interplanetary and maybe with new physics so it just amuses me that how these guys think and I, I think we still see a difference of the European culture versus the American culture in physics that took over after World War II and which is the big theme I covered in my book so Europeans have always been interested in how nature works and how do we find the internal structure of matter. Americans just want to get things done and these guys think the ultimate goal of humankind of physics is to go interplanetary or to go to Mars. Well, there is a little bit of difference here because I mean a really intelligent species could even strive for reproduce itself in outer space, but I mean do your homework before, not only care about the planet, save it from destruction, there are various kinds of destruction we can face by the way, but also think about the elementary laws of nature. I mean, this is the important thing and it's obvious we haven't done it, that the standard models are a mess and there is no way to you go to outer space unless you have understood that neutrinos and dark energy, all this is bullshit. I mean, I'm really convinced of that. So I think we should refocus a little bit our thinking, maybe in the European tradition of trying to understand the deep principles, the simple principles at the base of the laws of nature. And well, I admit that at the very end, it could happen that artificial intelligence beats us, that we humans are just incapable of finding these laws. And we need these computers produced by let's say American style technology who found out the fundamental laws of nature but maybe that will take a little while and yeah let's keep focused if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it and if you're interested in fundamental physics subscribe to this channel